Welcome back to the course, in the last section we discussed what and why to use Oracle Apex. Now let's come back to the architecture part. Oracle Apex uses three-tier architecture which comprises of the browser, web server, and database. Now, as you can see on the left image, you can see the first one is a browser, the middle one the web server, and the third one is the database. So whenever you are submitting a page, the browser sends the request through the middle ORDS to the database, and then it traces back through the middle layer, and then to the browser again. So this combined technology stack, is called the Oracle RAD stack. The R stands for REST Data Services. It's ORDS, which means Oracle REST Data Services. It bridges the HTTPS Oracle database. It submits Java applications, and provides RESTful APIs. The second one is A for the Apex. It is a low-code platform which we are going to learn now in the further lectures, and finally, D is the database, which is integrated with Oracle Apex and manages the back-end part. Oracle Apex also uses a metadata-driven architecture, which means whenever you're trying to create or extend an application or a page, the Oracle Apex will try to save those metadata in Oracle database tables. So whenever you're trying to run an application, the Oracle Apex read the metadata from the table and displaces it in the web page. This concludes the architecture apart, and we'll see you in the next lecture.